Hi friends! Today we will be learning about the volume of cube, cuboids, and cylinders. So let's start. You already learned how to find the surface area of a cube, cuboid, and cylinder. Now we will be learning about the volume of these 3D figures. First of all, what is volume? It is the amount of space occupied by a 3D shape. For example, here you can see two cubes. One is smaller and the other is bigger. So definitely the bigger cube will have a larger volume. Now here you have two tumblers. One is small and the other is big. So the bigger one has a larger volume and the smaller one has a smaller volume. So the volume is a space occupied by a 3D object. And for learning how to find the volume, we start with the cube, whose every side is one millimeter. And it is called a unit cube. Its volume is length times breadth times height. And length, breadth, height are all the same in the case of this cube, so it's side cube. So it is 1 times 1 times 1, which equals 1 millimeter cubed. Whenever you find the area, the unit is squared units. For example, you say 25 meters squared, 30 meters squared, 30 centimeters squared. Likewise, in the case of volume, the unit is cubed. You say 1 millimeter cubed or 10 centimeter cubed. So we just calculated the volume of a cube whose side is one millimeter. Now we will be finding the volume of a cube whose side is one centimeter. It will be side cubed, one times one times one, so one centimeter cubed. Similarly, if a cube has one meter, its volume will be one meter cubed. So these cubed sides, one millimeter, one centimeter, one meter, are called as unit cubes. These are all unit cubes, and the volume of every solid is measured by a number of the unit cubes that it contains. For example, you can see this figure. There are eight unit cubes. Each have a side of one centimeter. So, what will be the volume of this figure? Every cube has a volume of one centimeter cubed. So the volume is eight times one eight centimeter cubed. What will be the volume of this figure? It has six cubes. Each has a side of six centimeters. So the volume is six centimeter cubed. What is the volume on this figure? It has nine cubes. Each cube has a side of one meter. So this huge figure will have a volume of nine meters cubed. So this figure will have a volume of nine meters cubed. Now here we have a cuboid having a length of 15 centimeters, width five centimeters, and height four centimeters. We had to find the volume. How would we find the volume of a cuboid? Which are all different, so you will be multiplying length with breadth with height. Or you have to multiply the area of the base with height to get 15 times 5 times 4, which equals 300 centimeters cubed. Next, another cuboid with a height of 20 meters, length of 15 meters, and breadth of 10 meters. So, what will be the volume? It will be Area of the base multiplied by height, 20 times 15 times 10, which equals 3,000 meters cubed. Now here we have a cylinder. How do we find the volume of a cylinder? In the case of a cylinder, you have to multiply area of base with height. Area of base is pi r squared, where r is the radius and you will multiply that by height. That will be the volume of the cylinder. Here is our first example. We have a cylinder with a height of 20 centimeters and radius of five centimeters. 
So what will be the volume of the cylinder? Volume will be area of the base multiplied by height. Pi r squared multiplied by 20, which equals 22 over 7 times 5 times 5 times 20. So you will get 1,571.428, rounded 1,571 centimeters cubed. So this is the volume of the cylinder. Now let's find the area that she required to make this cylindrical tin of 20 centimeters by 5 centimeters. How will you solve this? Will you need to find the volume? No, you need to find the surface area because we need to find the amount of sheets required to make this tin. So we will be finding the surface area. And if I say find the capacity of this tin, we'll be finding the volume because capacity is the amount of something that a 3D object can hold. That is the capacity. So volume is related to the capacity of something. Capacity is 1,571 centimeters cubed. We also mentioned in milliliters and so on and so forth because 1 ml is equal to 1 centimeter cubed. So 1,571 centimeters cubed is equal to 1,571 milliliters. So capacity is 1,571 milliliters where 1 ml is equal to 1 centimeter cubed. 1 liter is equal to 1,000 centimeter cubed and 1,000 liters is equal to 1 meter cubed. So that's the relationship between volume and capacity. When you have volume, 1 centimeter cubed, it means a capacity of 1 ml. When you have 1,000 centimeter cubed, you can also say the capacity is 1 liter. If its volume is 1 meter cubed, you can also say the capacity is 1,000 liters. Now here we have another question. We have two containers. Both are right cylindrical shape. One has a diameter of 7 centimeters, the other 14 centimeters. The height of the cylinder with the diameter 7 centimeters is 14 centimeters. The other has a height of 7 centimeters. We have to compare which container has the greater capacity and more volume. We know the formula for finding volume is pi r squared h. That is, area of base multiplied by height. In the case of the container with the greater height, that is 14 centimeters, it will be 22 over 7 times radius, which will be 3.5 centimeters, because diameter is 7 centimeters. So it will be 3.5 centimeters times 3.5 centimeters in height, which is 14. And upon calculating it, we get 539 centimeter cubed. Now let's find the volume of the other cylinder. This has a radius of 7 centimeters. You follow the same steps, and then you get a final volume of 1,078 centimeter cubed. So clearly, we can see that the volume of this container is greater than the other. Now, can you represent this volume? In capacity? Yes, we can because 1 centimeter cubed is equal to 1 milliliter. So it is 539 milliliters and 1078 milliliters. Here we have our next question. We have to find out the height of the carton whose base is 180 centimeters squared and capacity of the carton is 900 milliliters. So let's solve the question. We are given the area at the base is 180 centimeters squared. That is, length into breadth is 180 centimeters squared. Now we are also given the capacity, which is 900 milliliters. So what will be the volume? 1 ml is 1 centimeter cubed. 900 ml is 900 centimeter cubed. So it can be represented in volume by converting ml to centimeter cube. So it will be 900 centimeter cube. So volume is 900 centimeter cube. And the volume of a cuboid is area of the base into height. 
area of the base is already given as 180 centimeters squared. So 900 equals to 180 multiplied by height. So height will be 900 divided by 180. So height is 5 centimeter. Therefore, the height of this carton is 5 centimeter. We have our next question. This is a cuboid. It has the measurement of 60, 30, and 54. 60 is the length, 54 is the width, and 30 is the height. We have to find how many small cubes with the side of 6 centimeters can be placed into this cuboid. Let's solve this. Let's find the total volume of this cuboid. It will be length times breadth times height. Length is 60 centimeters, breadth is 54, and height is 30. So total volume is 97,200 centimeters cubed. So this is the volume of this cuboid. We have to find how many cubes of side 6 centimeters can fit into this. One cube will be 6 by 6 by 6. That is 216 centimeter cubed. This will be the volume of one such small cube. We have to find how many of these can fit into the larger cuboid. So we divide volume of cuboid by volume of cube to get 450 cubes. That is 450 cubes that have a size of 6 centimeters can fit into this larger cuboid. Let's have our next question. We have a cylinder whose volume is given as 1.54 meter cubed, and the diameter is 140 centimeters. We have to find the height of the cylinder. First of all, the unit should be the same for all the measurements. Diameter is given in centimeters, and the volume is given in meter cubed. So convert diameter into meters, or the volume into cubic centimeters. Let's convert the diameter. Diameter is 140. The radius will be half of that, which is 70. So 70 centimeters is the radius. We have to find it in meters. So we'll be dividing radius 70 centimeters by 100, because 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters we get 0 0.7 meters. So radius is 0 0.7 meters. Now let's calculate the height of the cylinder. Volume of the cylinder is base into height. Base is pi r squared times height. Pi is 22 over 7 times 0 0.7 squared times height. We let this equal to the volume which has been given to us. 1.54 meter cubed. So 1.54 is equal to 22 over 7 times 0 0.7 times 0 0.7 times height. Since 22 is divided by 7, we can multiply that on the other side to get 7 times 1.54. Then you multiply 22 with 0 0.7 squared. And then you divide that on the other side. So height is equal to 7 times 1.54 divided by 22 times 0 0.7 squared. We get 154 over 154. To get 1 meter is equal to the height. So the answer is 1 meter. Height is 1 meter. Let's have our next question. Here we have another cylindrical figure whose length is given as 7 meters. Length in this case is the height of the cylinder, and radius of the cylinder is given as 1.5 meter, and we have to find its volume and its capacity. Volume is base times height. So 22 over 7 is pi, and then 1.5 times 1.5 as the radius. Then that multiply by height as 7 meters. And then you will calculate this as 4.5 meters cubed. So volume is 4.5 meters cubed. What will be the capacity? 
Capacity is mentioned in milliliters and liters. So we represent 4.5 meter cubed in ml or liters. 1 meter cubed is 1,000 liters. So 4.5 meter cubed will be 4.5 into 1,000, which equals 4,500 liters. So capacity is 4,500 liters.